Hello everyone, this is Plexi Cosplay again, and let's face it, one of the biggest parts of this costume that people notice is the skirt, so here's a quick rundown of how I did it. So I first started by patterning out the shape of the skirt on 4mm foam, and then lining the inside of the skirt with LED strip lights. On top of that, I layered Plastizote until it was about 12 millimeters. Um, I tested this to see how much the LEDs were diffused at, to kind of get that level of Plastizote on top. I wanted them to have a nice um, soft glow versus being able to see each of the diodes. And then I topped it with a layer of Flex Bond and spray painted with a bright neon yellow and orange in kind of varying waves. I like to use spray paint for that base coat because it did need to be really diffused. If you have an airbrush, that'll work well. Um, I, it depends on your exact reference and design. But that's what would work well for the, the base layer of paint for me. From there, I am using here in the video black paint and I'm painting all around the trim um, before I start doing all of the details in the middle of the skirt. Stop, stop. Stop, 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 stop. Once you have that outside edging painted, then you can start doing the details. Um, I had a computer that was set up with the photo of the skirt, the reference material in front of me. And then I just kind of, it was very organic. So I started at one edge and tried to mirror what I was seeing on the computer and uh, worked from there. As I get to the bigger sections of the skirt, I'll start kind of lightly patterning out where I want the, the swirls to be so that they look more accurate um, in accordance with how the reference looks. You can see here where I did start lightly patterning out the design and where it needed to flow and, and the major components of what you see in the skirt from the reference uh, material. So it does follow that, but it is also very organic. It's, it's very fun actually. Hope you guys uh, enjoy watching this. I think it's a, very satisfying. What I started doing as I was getting kind of close to the end is trying to fill in spots, make sure the paint is very thick. You want complete coverage for the lights showing through. And I knew that I was going to go have, have to go back and kind of cover up a bunch of those spots anyway after I tested it with the lights. So just, you know, go ahead and save yourself a little bit of time and uh, try to patch up anything right now that you might see that's glaringly obvious. <laughs> This is also the time where I started to do a lot of the finer details. There's a lot of thinner lines in the final product, um, and that's because that's what's in the reference. So start with the thicker lines, and then I worked my way down, and now I'm starting all of the thinner and smaller, more, I don't know, finer details in the swirls.
Okay, now comes what I would say is one of the most important parts to this. The lights that are shining through are going to expose a lot of open pores that might have been missed when you heat sealed, when you primed, and then if you didn't put the paint thick enough. So there's lots of little pinhole dots everywhere on the paint. It's so important if you're doing LED work behind Plastizote to turn the LEDs on after you do the paints and to make sure that if it wants, if you want it to have a full coverage, if you want opacity, that you check that and repaint everything, making sure to cover up all those pinholes. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. Turn on each part of the skirt individually and go ahead and repaint anything that's showing through. I think the most satisfying putting a gloss coat on top of everything after it's completely dry you definitely want to put a top coat and I used a gloss I wanted it to look shiny and almost robotic part of it's just part of what Warframe looks like so I did the gloss coat flip it over and did all of the foam detail work on the back that's more of a foam smithing thing so we'll save that for a different video I hope you enjoyed watching it I hope you learned a little bit about how I made my skirt and maybe can help you with your future projects. Please like and subscribe and follow me or find me on plexicosplay.com.